Welcome to Ultimate DIY, where you learn to be your own handyman. And today we are going to wire up five receptacles. I have one, two, three, four, and one behind the camera. They are all daisy chained together, meaning that the power is coming in from this one right here and it is feeding the rest of them. I'm going to go through it step by step and show you exactly how you wire it up. So let's get into it. All right, guys, so we're going to do this old school. We're going to use a lot of just regular tools, like regular strippers and things, nothing fancy, anything that a DIYer can use. The very first thing, though, that even a DIYer should have is a zero contact tester. So you're going to make sure that there's no power. Sometimes you'll hear a little beep, and that usually is coming through the neutral or the earth ground, and it's just a trickle. But if you hear your tester and see your tester going crazy, it means that there's still power there. So be very careful. I've left it live for a second so that you can see how this reacts. Turn it on. This one should be dead. We have nothing. When I get near the black wire, that is what you are looking for and you know that you still have power. I know that this is my power coming in and I have another set of wires here that is going to go and feed the daisy chain part of this, meaning that it's going to come in through the top of my receptacle and I'm going to feed it out the bottom and go to the next. So on this side, I have silver, which is going to be my whites. This side, I have the gold, which is going to be the hot, the black. I have one earth ground. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and show you a close-up of how these work. And then we're going to finish up the video showing you how we do the very tail end, the very end of a daisy chain. And I'll do that one in real time. But in here, I'm going to show you the couple of different methods of how you daisy chain. This being one method and this one over here being another method. And one of them I believe is actually a little better and I'll explain why. You have wire coming in from one side and going to the other. Now this is not permanently put in. I did this for demonstration. You're going to usually attach this to the side. These are usually going through the two befores. When we get these in, first of all, they're not going to be this long. This is on purpose so that you guys can see what's going on. I have wire coming in, wire going out. The traditional way a lot of people daisy chain is they will take their black, which is hot, and you take it over here to your gold screws. I always think of that as being more like a copper color, and that's my hot. I will take the white to the other side, which is a silver screw, which is closer to white. That's how I always remember. And then you have ground going to the bottom. And all you do is you're going to take and pat, put one here, from the line coming in, actually this is my line coming here, there's a little metal tab, goes across, carries that current to this tab and this will feed the next one. That's your hot. The neutrals are the same way. It's going to feed in one and come out the other and feed the next one. The only one that is a little different here is the actual earth ground and you have to do a pigtail. Now I have seen where the people twist them together. That's really not the best approach. Even if you twist it nice and tight, you want a compression type fitting like a wire nut or a Wago, something like that. And you will take the two together, the one ground coming in, the ground going out, put a pigtail and put that on. Make sure that all of your connections are facing like the hooks are facing the direction that you're going to turn the screw so it doesn't unscrew it. You'll also notice every one of these have tabs and it's easier to show it on the ground. You have a tab here and a tab here. Make sure the wire is inside of those tabs. I like to actually use my needle nose and go back and crimp those just a little tighter. Some people just make the hook and put it on. As long as you're inside the tabs, you're great and you're good to go. Okay, so that is daisy chaining using the actual receptacle itself to pass the current through to the next one. And that works perfectly well, and it is perfectly legal, and it will pass inspection. Now, what are the problems with that? The biggest problem I can see is the fact that if this receptacle fails, everything else down from this receptacle is going to be powerless as well. It sometimes can make it a little difficult trying to pinpoint exactly which one failed, where it is, which one's the first one in the line. I mean, the whole nine yards, it makes it a little harder. Now, I have seen other 
people are heard other people explain that there is a problem with power that this draws extra power i don't really buy any of that my biggest thing is that if this goes down they all go down and now i have to figure out where it is so let's look at another way all right this is the second method if you notice i now have three wire caps instead of just the one at the earth ground basically what we're going to do is we're going to do the same thing we did with earth ground but we're going to do it with the hot and the neutral you're going to take a piece of spare Romex, pull the cables out of the inside, and you are going to make your pigtails. You're already going to pull the one out to make it for the actual earth ground, and you're going to hook all three of them up. So I have the wires coming in, say my hots right here. One's coming in, one's going out to the next one. So I'm going to wire cap that with my pigtail and tie my pigtail on. Now I come over to this side. I have my neutral coming in, neutral going out, and I have my pigtail all put together and going into the receptacle here. So what makes this better than just going through the receptacle itself? Remember when I go through the receptacle itself, everything that's down from that one is going to go out if that fails. In this scenario, since I have the feed coming in and going out and just a pigtail, if this receptacle fails, the power still has a path and it's still going to go ahead and power everything else. This receptacle alone will fail. And now I know exactly where my problem is. I can fix it really quickly, take this out, replace the receptacle, and I'm back up and in running and in business that quick. That's your big advantage to actually going this route. So I prefer the pigtail method. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go back to the main part of the video and I'm going to show you how I actually close out a, an actual daisy chain and I'm going to show you in real time how I do it. So let's do that. Is this the correct way to actually install a receptacle or is this the correct way? The funny thing is this is actually the correct way. If you look at most commercial applications, they're going to be installed like this, especially in industrial environments. The reason for that is if something slides down a wall and gets between the receptacle and a plug, it's going to hit the earth ground and ground out. If you install it this way, in the same scenario, the plug pulls back just a little, something slides down and works its way in between. Now you are going to have your common grounding to your hot, and you're going to either be tripping breakers, damaging equipment, or even possibly starting fires. So when you install, this is the right way. But in 99.9% .9 of residential homes, this is what you're going to find. This is the very end of the chain. And how you're gonna know that is you only have one set of wires here because you're not carrying on and going to another plug. So you're just simply going to take your plug. You have two spots on each side, two for a hot, two for the neutral, just like we did on the others, but you're only gonna use one. You can use either or, it doesn't really matter because it's connected through this little tab here. Now you could literally take that tab, grab a hold of it, break it off, and you could make this two separate circuits. But we don't want to do that. We want to just feed them both, bend them around like that. So I like to start with my earth ground as usual, and we tighten it down. There we go. Now, neutral. It's going to go to my silver, take it, push it, and clip it in, grab that little t end there, close it, tighten it down, and make sure they're snug. Take the hot wire, bring it over, just like that, you can see my long tail, we're going to grab that tail and I'm going to close it, totally closed. And bingo. Start the 
screw. And line this one up. Same thing, the holes right there. There you go. There is four of the five receptacles that I have to install installed. The fifth one is directly behind the camera and it's going to install the same way. Hopefully you got a little something out of today's video and you learned a little something. If you're not a subscriber, please consider subscribing. Hit that little bell notification button so that you know about all of my upcoming videos as I release them. I really appreciate it. We'll see you guys on the next one.